So this is without question an unrivaled Swiss Army knife in the hearing aid world. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hearing Tracker YouTube channel. I'm Matthew and here you'll find videos uploaded once a week keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today I'm covering the brand new Widex Sound Assist and everything that it has to offer. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that grey notifications bell and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. At the moment, if you're wearing a Widex hearing aid, then it's more than likely going to be one of their latest two models from either the Evoke or the Moment family of hearing aids. And whilst they are some of the best hearing aids out there at the moment in terms of hearing aid technology, I imagine that there are still some scenarios that you don't hear as well as you'd like, such as hearing in background noise, for example. In fact, this isn't just limited to Widex. Whilst hearing aids will significantly improve your hearing in background noise, it is still the most commonly reported challenging listening situation for any hearing aid user. Well, the sound assist is Widex's answer to this. In fact, it's the answer to a whole host of issues that you didn't even know you had. So let's run through its functions one by one now. Partner mic mode is exactly as it sounds. The sound assist has a sturdy clip on the back so that it can be worn on the lapel of anybody that you want to be hearing better. I'd recommend keeping it roughly a pencil length away from their mouth, and then the sound of the speaker's voice is sent wirelessly and directly to both of your hearing aids, which provides you with the sound of their voice just as if you were sat next to them. And of course, the sound that your hearing aids are producing also takes into account your hearing loss too. So it should be crisp, sharp, and tailored to you and your ears. The partner mic isn't only useful in the likes of a restaurant though. Remote microphone technology can be used in a whole host of different listing situations. And I have patients utilizing them in a variety of different ways, such as giving them to their competitor in a tennis match, having a yoga instructor wear it when you can't always guarantee that your head will be facing in the correct direction to hear your instructions, giving it to the lecturer in a lecture theater. And I even have patients who put it in the strollers of their babies and children so that they can hear them better when pushing them along the sidewalk. With a streaming distance of up to eight meters, it's a pretty versatile tool. And I'd be delighted if you've got any other environments where you've tried remote mic technology and it's worked well for you. So drop those comments beneath this video. With its built-in accelerometer, the sound assist knows whether it's been worn on someone's shirt or if it's lying horizontally on a table. And so for its second use, it can be used when you're struggling in a noisy restaurant. As I mentioned earlier, the most common situation that those with hearing loss struggle to hear in is background noise, such as in a restaurant where everything that you're trying to hear just blends into the background noise. In this environment, the sound assist can be placed in the center of the table and the three built-in microphones will detect where speech is coming from. It will clean it up and again stream the sound directly to both of your ears. It's designed to be fully automatic, so there's no need to manually point the device in a particular direction. However, if there's a specific direction that you want to focus the microphones in, a simple press of the push button in the center of the device focuses the top microphone and then you can point the device in the direction of the speaker that you most wish to focus your attention on. The third useful feature is the sound assist ability to provide hands-free calling from your cell phone. The Widex hearing aids, just like other manufacturers, also support Bluetooth streaming, which essentially means that any phone call that you take is streamed directly from your phone to your hearing aids. The downside is that that streaming is one way only, i.e. you still need to hold the cell phone to your ear for other people to be able to hear you on the other end of the line. Well, at least you used to anyway. By pairing the sound assist via the Bluetooth settings in your cell phone, which can be on a smartphone on iOS or Android or a non-smartphone, you then simply need to clip it onto your lapel and it will pick up your voice for the phone call. And voila, there you have it hands-free calling. I am personally a huge advocate for telecoils being built into all hearing aids. And if you're unfamiliar with what a telecoil is, it's a really small metal coil, which is commonly built into hearing aids and could well be built into the hearing aid that you're wearing right now without you even realizing. It acts as a receiver that picks up signals from a loop system. This loop system produces an electromagnetic field and it's usually connected to a microphone that's set at a distance from you, such as in church, for example. The voice of the person speaking into that microphone is then sent wirelessly and directly to both of your hearing aids and of course doesn't have to travel that entire distance via sound waves to meet your ears. 
As a result, this will give a reduction in environmental noise and make it easier to hear from a distance. Now, one small gripe with Widex is the frustrating thing is that it's not built into all hearing aids, including their latest Widex Moment hearing aids. However, they have recognized this and then built the telecoil into the sound assist so that it will do all of the above for you. All you need to do is switch it to the telecoil mode, clip it to your shirt, and bingo, you're tuned into the telecoil. Now, the final function of the sound assist is that when it's not in a streaming mode, it acts as a remote control, allowing you to cycle through your hearing aid programs and either increase or decrease the volume. It's compatible with any Bluetooth Widex Moment hearing aid, which includes the MRIC, SRIC, and Moment BTE. The charging time is around three hours and will give a full 10 hours of use in total. So this is without question an unrivaled Swiss army knife in the hearing aid world. And I would love to know if you think that it would be worth investing in. Let me know in the comments beneath this video. If you like this video, then go ahead and click like so it reaches more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.